Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your UI. Um, I like to use this and I don't want you guys to see me working in this and not understand how I did it. Um, but it's really useful because you can have your own brushes. Um, you can just put buttons that you press a lot um, wherever you want. So this is really how you kind of do that. Um, I'm just going to go to the default by going to config and then restore standard UI. So this is probably what you have right now. Um, and so I guess the first thing to show is just how to move things around. So what you can do is you can go to config and go to enable customize. And this will allow you to move everything in ZBrush. It'll allow you to move anything where you want with it. So I can move this around over here. And the way you do that is by holding control and alt. And then you can move it wherever you want it. You can um, come over here. Actually, let's just draw something up. Okay. So maybe something that you use a lot is um, divide. Right? Divide's not here. So we can um, come over here. Maybe put in a, a divide. Um, we don't have this as a column mesh, so we can have a divide there. And we can also have our little subdivision one. Um, we can make, maybe put this up here. And um, whatever you might use a lot. Um, I usually have like maybe my resolution for dynamo shipping. That can be useful. So like I said, just control all and say you want to get rid of it. Just grab it and drag it on the background. And that'll get rid of it. Um so maybe some cool cool ones to use the light. I like to use the light one. Put it right here. And now I can control my light from right over here. Um, maybe we change this not change it. It can't be mad cap. Um you need to be in a material like basic material. And so now, when you're sculpting, you can just move this around, so that's pretty useful. Um, but when you're done with all that, or however you're customizing it, just undo that. And then, um, if you want it to load up every single time you start up ZBrush, uh, just go to Store Configuration. I'm not going to do that, because I already have mine. Um, and so, to kind of show you mine one more time, I'm going to go Store Custom UI. And so you can see it kind of changed the colors and stuff like that. Um, I have all my stuff here. Um, if you want to know how to change the colors, um, you can just come in here. And um, it's going to be um, here. So you go to eye colors. And um, I, I guess the ones for the buttons are the SW2 and the icon one. You can just change these colors to whatever you want. Um, I like blue. And then the SW1 is um, blue kind of like the, the background color, so I made it with a dark red. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I like to do with it. Um, and I guess the last thing I'll show is just how to create your own window. So you can create your own, like, um, maybe a window for your, your main brushes. So here I have a, ha a hairbrush window. So you could just, like, come over here, dock this, bam. So here's all your hairbrushes, you know what I mean? So the way you do this is you go to Preferences, Config, Enable Customize, come over to Custom UI, and then create a new window. window. I'll just make it custom window three. Okay. And then it'll sh um, go to, it should be up here. Here it is. Okay. That was weird. Okay, so just drag it over here. So now you have your little window. Um, you can drag, just like full control and option, just like anything else. And you can drag um, little sub windows. Um, I don't, I'm not going to do that though. Um, I'm just going to start putting things that I like in here. So uh, maybe we want to uh, put some stuff like that in there. Um, stuff that we use, um, I don't know. But you basically can put anything into your little window now. And so now every time you want to use it, you can just load it up right here. And it'll, you know, put your brushes here or whatever. Um, oops. There you go. So you can just put your brushes in here. Um, but I'm not going to keep this, but you get the idea. So now you can create your own little palettes. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure that when you're done with everything, turn off custom, customize, and then store it into it. Um, I'm going to go back to mine. But I hope that was helpful.